It's the first week of Alberta spring black bear season and I'm hunting outside of high level Alberta with W and L guide service. It's run by Wally Mack and his wife Louisa. Uh, we're hunting over baits here and our shots uh, can range anywhere from 10 to 50 yards. Uh, with that in mind I want to go over some of the gear that I'm using to try to maximize my odds of putting a good mature boar on the ground. Wally's running about 30 different bait sites right now and they are in uh, everything from dense aspen stands to areas that are uh, full of sort of spruce trees and a lot of thick brush. Um, with that in mind, you want to have a good binocular. I'm using the Swarovski EL 8x32. It's got supremely bright glass, great edge-to-edge -edge clarity, a nice wide field of view, and it allows me to sort of pick apart those dense screens around the stand and put eyes on bears before they get in on me. Uh, in spite of their size, they travel very quietly, and sometimes before you know it, they're right underneath the stand. However, with this bino, I'm able to, uh, like I said, put eyes on the bears before they get in, and if it's a good mature boar, that I know that I, you know, I should be getting the gun ready. Uh, if if I see a sow and a couple cubs coming in, then I know that there's not going to be a shot opportunity, and I can sort of uh, get ready for that situation. Um, sticking with the optics, I've got a Swarovski Z6i uh, in a 1.7 to 10 by 42 configuration. Um, while I don't have much use for the upper end of that magnification range, it sure is nice to have the lower end for these close-in shot opportunities. Um, I'm usually not a big fan of illuminated reticles, however, the one on uh, Swarovski scopes is excellent. Uh, it features two different settings, one for bright light, one for low light, and uh, the, they're both adjustable in that you can change the intensity of the illumination as the situation dictates. Uh, it's especially nice when you're you know, putting the crosshairs on a dark background in low light, the dark background being a black bear's fur in low light, uh, because the the duplex reticle in this is very fine, and uh, it just that, that illumination just creates a nice, sure aiming point. I've got the scope mounted on the new Mossberg Flex shotgun. This is a really cool new shotgun in that it allows the uh, hunter to uh, adapt it to whatever his hunting scenario may be. Um, you can swap out the fore ends, the butt stocks, and the recoil pads. I've put a, an adjustable butt stock on here that allows me to change the length of pull as the night goes on, the temperatures drop, and I'm adding more layers. I've put the tactical fore end on this gun that uh, features three Picatinny rails, one along the bottom, one on either side, and I've attached the Contour uh, Plus GPS camera to it that uh, shoots in beautiful 1080 HD and uh, just provides a really kind of cool point of view to try to capture the hunt. Um, moving on to the ammunition, I'm actually one of the f uh, few very lucky first hunters to try out this new Hornaday slug. Uh, it's a prototype slug that should be available uh, later this fall. It's a 300 grain 50 caliber slug. It's monolithic. It's uh, made of gilding metal that is 95% uh, copper, 5% zinc. That little bit of zinc uh, hardens the, the, the bullet a little bit and reduces the amount of copper fouling that you're going to have in your barrel. Um, it features the, uh, the polymer flex tip um, that you've probably seen on the Lever Revolution ammunition. It uh, creates 95, or I'm sorry, a one and a half times expansion, nice e even expansion. Um, preliminary tests have shown a 95 plus percent weight retention on these slugs. It features a super performance powder that's pushing it out to about 2,000 feet per second. So, if a mature boar uh, provides me with a shot, hopefully this combination of ammunition, optics, and gun will allow me to uh, put my tag on it.